Trains, planes, automobiles, everybody's going to be traveling <laughs> smoothly tomorrow despite the weather. Yeah, I think if you want to do that, you may want to get your errands done yes. sooner rather than later, guys. Yeah, the snow definitely going to come in quickly, I think, as we head throughout the day. You know, mid to late morning is when the snow will be pushing in. We're still quiet across the valley now. That's a live look over downtown Carlisle. We still have a mainly clear sky with those clouds. Some of those higher clouds are starting to filter in now on our satellite picture, but my local eight and the storm team live radar network still quiet locally. As we zoom out, we can see where all the moisture is. This is kind of the energy quote unquote that upper low that's going to continue to work in and eventually we're going to see an area of low pressure really developing and strengthening along the coastline and that's what's going to help get those uh, snowfall rates really cranking as we head through tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures have dropped off with the help of the clear sky. Lower 20s now in Sealands Grove. We have 22 in Lebanon and 26 degrees at the moment in Carlisle, 27 in Lancaster. Temperatures with the help of the clear sky and the light wind a little cooler. And I think that's a trend that some of the data is now picking up on. So that may keep the snow around maybe a little longer tomorrow afternoon than we were originally forecasting here. Something we'll have to watch closely as the snow moves in. Open the range a little bit in those temperatures, 22 to 28. Most of us going to be in that range. A couple spots may be a little bit chillier than that already there for our northern locales. The snow starts to move in from southwest to northeast. Late morning temperatures going to be right around 30. And then I think 32 to 36 for the afternoon, the snow falling heavy at times with more of a mixed bag of rain and snow to the south and east and even some plain rain possibly across our far southern and eastern neighborhoods as that warm air tries to win out. Winter weather advisories from Brooks County through York County to the northwest. There are the winter storm warnings. That's where we're going to see the heaviest amount of snow, and that's where you're finding all of the pink shaded counties on the map. All of these in effect through Saturday evening. And in terms of the snow, those counties are going to get a nice little thump. We'll talk about that in a moment from 10 to 2. The snow starts to pick up, becoming a little more moderate in intensity. Two to six, that's really the peak of this system. The snow falling heavily, especially to the north and west, and then to the south and east. That's where we'll likely have that snow mixing with rain uh, south and east of I-81. And then by six to ten, we'll start to see the precipitation lightening up a bit and then finally tapering off. It's a quick hitter, but still going to pack a punch while it's here. That's what we'll see on predictor. Here is 930 and you're starting to see some of that snow, especially out to the west, overspreading the valley. By lunchtime, there's the white, but notice the pink. That's the mixture of rain and snow that's starting to creep in from the south and east, still falling at a really good clip though, even through three to four o'clock. There's that rain trying to nose in across Lancaster and Chester, southeastern New York County, still to the north and west. It's falling as mainly snow, but it's out of here. Midnight, I think it's all lifting to the north and east, but we'll have to watch for maybe a little bit of lingering flurry activity or drizzle as another kicker upper level wave moves in. You can see some of those snow showers and flurries getting picked up early Sunday morning. In terms of our snowfall totals, really haven't tweaked them at all. This is what we're thinking across the board. Five to eight inches here in the pink to the south and east. Lighter amounts because of the influence from that warm air nosing in aloft. So two to five inches, a good bet south and east of I-81. That includes York and Lancaster counties. The closer you get to the Philadelphia metro, the closer you get to the I-95 corridor, lighter amounts, maybe a slushy coating to two inches, then it gets washed away as that rain takes over. Now our News 8 Storm Team 10 day forecast does show temperatures trending up by Monday 42, a little break, a little sunshine, but then our next storm system moves in. This makes Tuesday an impact day. We likely have a mixed bag of precip at the onset changes over to a wind driven rain and then another one we're watching. This one arrives about a week from now, guys. Early next weekend could also bring us some rain and snow. All right, TJ, thank you. Whether you're at home,